Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. My email is 3klpm at gmail.com. I am also the medical author of two books, Focused Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. Today we are going to talk about a very very important topic, the principles of MRI, MRI principles, Neuroimaging Concepts Part 6 MRI Principles. MRI Principles MRI has the advantage over CT in using non-ionizing energy and providing improved contrast between different structures within the nervous system. So what is the advantage of MRI over CT? MRI is the advantage of CT in using non-ionizing radiation, non-ionizing energy and the contrast is very much improved between different structures within the nervous system if MRI is used. The MRI image is essentially a map of hydrogen content of tissue therefore reflecting largely the water concentration but influenced also by the physical and chemical environment of the hydrogen atoms so the image is essentially a map of hydrogen atoms hydrogen content of the tissue therefore reflecting largely the water concentration but also influenced by the physical and chemical environment of the hydrogen atoms. How is MRI accomplished? MRI is accomplished by placing the patient within a powerful magnetic field causing certain endogenous isotopes to be aligned in the longitudinal orientation of the magnetic field. So MRI is accomplished by placing the patient within a powerful magnetic field causing certain endogenous isotopes to be aligned in the longitudinal orientation of the magnetic field. Application of a brief few milliseconds radio frequency pulse into the field changes the axis of alignment of atoms. When the RF pulse ceases, the atoms return to their original alignment and the RF energy that was absorbed is then emitted by the isotopes producing an electric signal that is detected by the receiver coils. So if we see the diagram, we will be able to understand it better. So here the patient is pushed into the MRI scanner. So you can see the you can see the patient is pushed into the MRI scanner. This is a patient. So this is the strong magnetic field. So the this is the radio frequency coil. These are the gradient coils. This is the magnet. <coughs> this is the scanner. So this is the patient which is pushed. So when there is no external magnetic field, so these are the ways the hydrogen atoms are present. But once the magnetic field is applied, applied external magnetic field, you can see these hydrogen atoms they get aligned. So you can see they get aligned. So this is known as the net magnetization. So we give, we put it in a magnetic field and we give a, a radiation which is known as RF, radiation pulse frequency. So to create contrasting tissue images from these signals, the RF pulse must be repeated many times. This is known as pulse sequence. The signal being measured after the application of each pulse. The scanner then stores the signal as a matrix of data which is subjected to computer analysis that allows the reconstruction of the two dimensional images. So these are the important concepts of the principles of MRI. The other important concepts of clinical neurology, I have put it in a book called Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology written by me Dr. S. Srinivas. This book will be very useful for students appearing for the clinical neurology exams. The other book I have written is Focused Neurology written by me Dr. S. Srinivas. 
This book is published by CBS Publishers and Distributors. This book contains all essential neurology concepts in a question and answer format. This book is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. So if interested, this book could be purchased online. If you have enjoyed and liked these concepts or principles of MRI, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Srinivas Medical Concept, which is India's leading neurology educational YouTube channel. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.